In this video, we're going to see if it's possible to build an online store like Etsy on Bubble.io. Does this platform have the right capabilities to power a reliable e-commerce app that can manage a product catalog, payments, customer support, and more? Because when it comes to real life transactions, whether it's in a single store or marketplace environment, you need a platform that you can depend on to build, design a custom shopping experience. Our first stop is the database. With any data-driven application, especially an online store, you've got to be in control of your database architecture. You don't want to be boxed into a template or any predetermined structures because that won't let you customize the experience you're trying to create for your users. Now, with Bubble, you have total freedom over how you design your data sets. So we're looking at an area here where you configure all of that. You can set up as many tables as you need, set up all of the properties within the tables. So we're looking at a product data type or a data table, right? And so this can make up your product catalog. Within this data type, we can have a field for categories that match that product, description, image, name, price. This can really be up to you, and it's up to you to describe the format of all of those fields as well. Is this a number? Is this a text? And this is really just tip of the iceberg. You know, a full featured online store is going to have many different types of data, variations of the product, right? SKUs, different colors and sizes that you may want to offer. It's all dictated by how you organize your database. And in Bubble, you have a lot of freedom here to design this exactly how you need. When it comes to the front end page designs, you want to stay in control here as well. With Bubble, you get a drag and drop design canvas. So what you see is exactly what you get. And you can, of course, fine tune everything, how everything is positioned on the screen, the spacing, the alignment, the appearance properties, colors, fonts, weights of things, borders, all of that, you have the tools to uh, manipulate. And I also want to highlight that Bubble has a really powerful responsive editor as well. And I can see how my design is going to adapt to different different breakpoints, different device widths. All of this is under your control. And when it comes to an online store, you should expect for users to access your application from different types of devices. Now, how do you make your application work? Where are you giving Bubble the instructions to you know, create an order, for example, or send a notification email? Well, this all happens in the workflows area. This is what we're looking at right now. And this is also where all of your logic comes together in a custom way. You're not writing any code. In fact, you're pulling from a big list of actions that you can string together. And it's just up to you to put together the right sequence of things whenever users interact with your app. For example, they click on a button, it adds an item to the order, it calculates the total, it might send an email, all of that's up to you. But I also want to highlight that in Bubble, you have a lot of integration tools available to you as well so that you can communicate with the outside world. There is a massive plugin library that you can access to extend functionality. So for example, if I wanted to connect to additional emailing tools, I can search for different plugins, free and premium are available here uh, to add extra capabilities to my application. I can also create custom connections to other tools if I don't find anything available in the plugin marketplace that I need. So for example, Bubble has a really powerful API connection tool so that I can communicate with an email marketing service, my accounting software, or a shipping and delivery provider so that I can pass my orders on to them. And just to further illustrate the level of functionality you can get into your app alongside your own custom designs and, and logic, I want to run through a few quick tools that are really popular for online store uh, features. The first one is charts and graphs, right? If you're creating transactions, you probably want to visualize your history of sales, all of the revenue that you're bringing in. And this is a great way to create reporting features for the shop owner. You know, these, these feed from your database. So they are real time reflections of the information you have in your database. And it can be a great way to quickly gather the insights you need from your online store. Stripe is an incredibly popular payment gateway. It is certainly not the only payment gateway that you can connect to. There are many others out there as well, but we love Stripe. We recommend it with all of our own clients because they support practically any business model and have a lot of pre-built functionality that works right out of the box for you. Can, so it can be a really quick setup. Um, we have a you know sample chat uh, design here, a messaging system. This is in the application that I've had open. Here's the editor for it. And you can design something like this if you wanna build in a custom customer support system as well for your customers, right? You can create this kind of chat experience for them. You can, of course, integrate with external systems that you know can do all of the heavy lifting on that for you if you prefer. But this is just to demonstrate that you have this ability. All right, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, definitely check out the content you see on the screen right now. These videos will help you better build and launch your app and a lot more quickly too.